Hello guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to uh, get custom ringtones on your iPhone. If you don't know already, uh, I'm sure you do, that uh, the iPhone has pretty bad um, ringtones. The, uh, the pre-made ones in your settings sounds part. Um, you can't actually choose your own ringtone, so um, today I'm going to be showing you how. Uh, the first thing that you're going to need to do on your iPhone is... Um, download something in Cydia called Open SSH. Now, um, uh, probably some of you will probably know what that is. It's, uh, so it enables you so you can SSH into your iPhone um, because we're going to need to do uh, place a file, a music file, into your iPhone. So um, I think that's about it. And uh, switch over to my uh, screen. Okay, so the first thing we're going to need to do is launch iTunes. And um, you're going to need to find the song that you want um, as your ringtone, your custom ringtone. So um, this is going to be my one here. Let me just delete the song. Two seconds. Um, so I'm going to choose this song. Uh, I'll just play a like, five second clip. Okay, so that's going to be my uh, custom ringtone. Um, ringtones need to be 30 seconds long for them to uh, play on your iPhone, otherwise they won't work. So uh, this is in MP3 uh, format. If you command info, command I it, and uh, or MPEG audio file. There we go. So what we're going to need to do is um, right click it, right click the song that you want to uh, have as your ringtone and say create AAC version then in the left in the uh, sources part you can, it's gonna, well not sources but under playlist it's gonna say something called converting and you have a um, status bar up the top here I'm just gonna go over to music and uh, you also have a greyed out version of the song and there you go you hear a sound that um, says that it's done so we now have one song, um, both of the same songs, but one is in a different format. So uh, this is the AAC, work, so AAC version. So let's command info it again, and it says AAC audio file. And the um, it's it's dot M4A, whereas the other one was dot MP3. So I'm um, just going to click OK to that. So sorry, actually we're going to launch. Uh, info settings again and we're going to go to the options tab this time we're going to say stop time and make it to naught colon 30 because as I said before it needs to be 30 seconds long so we're now going to hit ok and then we're going to hit um, right or right click and say convert AAC create an AAC version again and um, it's just going to do the same process but this time it's going to be 30 seconds as you can see in the time there the other two were 3.22 and this is 30 so um, now what we're going to do is select the 30 second AAC version drag it over to your desktop and um, now we can just close that of iTunes and uh, put it up so we can see it a bit more now uh, for the extension we're just going to edit the text and click the right arrow key and go right to the end we're going to just remove the A and say M4R then we're going to click off and say um, use M4R uh, just ignore all the, uh, the warnings and stuff and um, the extension has changed so um, some of you may be thinking why can't we just sync this uh, file with iTunes in the ringtones tab well uh, I'll show you why because you can't actually copy it over because um, I'll show you look, if we drag the file over it comes up with a plus arrow but um, nothing actually happens you can't iTunes just will not uh, sync ringtones with it I don't know why because you have to buy them I think but even that's difficult I don't actually know where to get them from so uh, it's generally quite hard so um, the next step that we're going to do is launch 
Cyberduck or WinSCP if you're on um, Windows. Just a SSH program basically. And we're going to go SSH into your iPhone. Um, if you don't know how to do this, then you can um, watch other videos or uh, my video that will be coming out fairly soon. So once you're in, we're going to click the uh, blue arrows and go to forward slash, the uh, last one. And library, hit library. Wait for that to load. And then ringtones. So once you're in here, you're going to drag over the music or .m4r file over to uh, Cyberduck. So um, just drag it over and place it in here. What you want to have is this blue box around the uh, main window. You do not want to have... Um, actually, no, that's all you can get because there aren't actually any folders in here. But um, if there are folders, you don't want to have the outline around just a single file, around the whole box. So um, I already have mine in there, as you can see at the top there, uh, here. Uh, so um, I'm not going to place it in there, but just wait for the file to upload. It should come up with another box. Um, just wait for that to upload, and uh, then it should be on. So um, that's basically how you upload ringtones. Um, I'll just switch over to um, me so you can view my iPhone. Okay, so once you have the music tone SSH'd into your iPhone, what I just showed you, um, you're going to need to go over to your iPhone and hit settings. Just wait for that to open. And um, then we're going to go to sounds then ringtone and uh, the ringtone that you placed should be in there so in my case it's at the bottom you can see that um, I'll just show you so you can play it, I'll just switch it over and uh, there we go so um, just select that and then you have that ringtone um, whenever someone rings you. So uh, that's basically how you place custom ringtones on your iPhone. So I uh, hope you like this video. Please subscribe, rate and comment. Thanks.